In this video, let's take a look at how to make this countdown animation with dope text. So making an animation like this with dope text is pretty simple. I'm just going to get rid of these dope text items, hit delete, and then go into my content browser and open up a new object. I'm going to go into the dope text settings. I'm going to change the number right here under text, or the text right here to the number 5. That updates in my viewport right here. And right now if I hit play, nothing happens. Let's take a look at the legit animate settings. If you scroll down here, the first thing that you see is the fall off path length. Let's adjust that real quick. I'm just going to turn it down until I see something change. And right here you see the white line come in. I'm going to change that to right there. And actually to see that I'm going to just turn on animate text on screen right here. And right now immediately you see a linear fall off shows up and my text disappears. So if I scrub through it'll start animating. Now, in this case, this fall off is a little too big, so I'm just going to shrink it down to, let's say, 22. Let's go down to like 15. That looks about good. I'm going to turn this fall off length up to about 1.5. Then just scrub through. That looks good. All right. Now, right now you see it's scaling up. I don't want it to scale up. I want it to animate in. So I'm going to turn off scale up. I'm going to turn on animate in from. And I don't want it to animate in the Y direction. So I'm going to hit zero. And then I want it to come in from the right. So I'm going to do in the X direction. I'm going to type in 200. Then if I go back and hit play coming in from the left that's exactly what I want all right then I want to check on the start frame right here and it goes from 0 to 30 which is exactly what I want so that's great the next thing I'm going to look at it, animate is animate text off screen so I'm going to turn that on you see another fall off pop up right there and I don't want it to scale down I want it to animate out to, not Y direction, I want it to animate negative 200 in the X direction. Now if I hit play, um, that was a little weird. Uh, so right now, let's take a look at the start frame and end frame for our animating off screen. I want it to start animating off at frame 30 and I want it to end at frame 60. So let's hit play. Oh, interesting. So that was actually a good thing to take a look at. Um, what happened right there was I had I had reverse direction checked on, and what that meant was when I was at zero, it was still showing up. But if I turn that off right there, reverse direction, what it's going to do is going to go away, and then it's going to animate correctly. So I'll hit play, and this is what I want it to do. All right, now let's set up the rest of the numbers. I'm just going to take this dope text object, and I'm going to copy it four more times. So Control-C, Control-V four times. Then I'm going to go to each number and type in four, three, two and one then I'm going to go into 
dt underscore four, which is the number four. Then I'm gonna go to the legit animate settings. And then I'm gonna change the offset frames to 30 because I want it to offset. Because right now if I hit play, let's hit play. I'm gonna set that back to zero, I'm gonna hit play. Everything is gonna animate on at the same time and animate off at the same time. I want it to offset for each number. So instead of going and changing these values for each number, I can just change the offset. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this to 30 and 30. Go into 3, set it to 60 and 60. I'm just multiplying 30 by 2, 3, 4, and so on. So I'm going to go here. The last one was 60. So this one is going to be 90. And then this one is 120. All right, now if I hit play, there's a countdown. But I wanted to have that overshoot type effect. So I'm going to click on all of them, select all, and click on overshoot right here. there's your effect and then I can go back in and I can add a little bit more dimension to it by adding some rotation maybe exaggerate it a little bit and that's it that's how easy it is to create a quick animation with dope text I hope you enjoyed this video uh, please like and subscribe and share with the community.